Well, what a wonderful time we've had together and I've enjoyed teaching you so much. Over the last three weeks, I've got to know you really well through your writing and it's been utterly joyous. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the nation's story and it has been compiled by all the children who have taken part. There has been over a hundred thousand pupils who've taken part in the live lessons and it's been so much fun. But more than that, it's about the learning that happened. And actually, it is no joke when I say your work has improved inordinately. Now, take a look at my stack. This has been built from your writing, from all the children around the UK and beyond. And it's big, bold, bright and colourful. But actually, what makes it so wonderful is the words. Thank you everybody for taking part. And remember, it's over to you now and it's your turn to write your feast-inspired story. And I can't wait to see your work on the 9th of October. Your teachers know how to hand it in to me at info at the trainingspace.co.uk or they can get in touch via Twitter or Facebook. That's going to be a wonderful time and there is a little competition. You know there is a prize of £100 book vouchers so you can spend the money on the books of your choice. Can you see the super sentence stack? Can you see how wonderful it is? Well, what I'm going to do now is read the whole thing so we can enjoy it as a full, complete story. Feast. It was a cold night, fur to the air. He searched for yucky, soggy wrappers that rustled. The moonlight reflected off the wet, cold ground. The puppy felt freezing and lonely. Suddenly, the dog noticed a huge hand hovering, holding one chip. Ah, oh, such a cute, tiny dog. Are you hungry? asked a sympathetic, reassuring and helpful voice. Are you lost? The next morning he awoke, snuggled up in a fresh, clean bed, and beside his little paws, his eyes caught sight of a shiny and beautiful little bowl with the name Winston brightly engraved on it. He gobbled and chomped on his food, which was eggs, bacon and dog food, it was so, so good. What heavenly food. How amazing. Winston couldn't have felt any better. After months of munching on scrumptious food, suddenly everything changed. Mm. New perfume, new people, new tables, new waiters, new cleaning. In front of Winston, he saw an unappealing sprout with a pokey thing poking his nose. Is this some kind of nightmare? He pondered sorrowfully as he attempted to nibble it gingerly. What is this? I think they are trying to kill me. It was the most bitter thing he had ever ever tasted. It was so bitter, Winston spat it out. A rage surged up like a live lion, roaring very, very loud. Winston yelped, whined and growled at the putrid food, ghastly, unappealing and repulsive. Her food. Sadly, he watched her place the weird leaf on his food once again, making him feel even more alone, reminding him of how it felt back on the street. However, things were about to change. Voices were bashed, tempers lost, glass smashed. She vanished into the thick, angry air. 
Winston and Dad were the only ones left. Winston felt loved and delighted once more. His soul was enchanted once again. Dad seemed to be wishing for something or for someone, someone who would come to him. And Winston imagined that everything was back to normal once again. However, this was far from reality. Remember me? Are we still buddies? What was the point in her leaving? The dark, sinister fog choking the weak, hopeless sun. Winston's grin melted as heartbroken dad devastatingly stared at the small, familiar leaf and Winston's friendly, cute eyes faded as he noticed Dad crying and looking longingly at the peculiar, disgusting leaf. And then he realised he wasn't enjoying the food that much after all. It must have reminded him of the girl, thought Winston painfully. Dad was too traumatised to stop Winston as he shot through the open window like a powerful speeding bullet. The thought hit him like Cupid's arrow. He looked at the green leaf and knew what he had to do. Smashing through the door to the kitchen of the restaurant, he weaved and jumped while glasses bashed and pinged around him. Sprinting past pedestrians, Winston searched for the love of Dad's life. He ran up to the familiar shoes and he could smell a familiar fragrance as he dropped the odd leaf in front of her expectantly. Moments later, his owner showed up in hot pursuit. Dad, who looked like he had been in a nightmare, stared awkwardly at her. Their faces moved in sync and their eyes magically connected. The space between them seemed to say in unison, you are my match forever. Their hearts pounded as one. Precisely one year later, they got married. Wedding sounds rang out in the restaurant's garden. Their wedding was a collection of magical moments, grand voices, elegant wedding dress, gorgeous flowers, angelic bells, harmonious music, and one wonderful Winston. Time passed as a married couple, a happy and joyous time where even Winston got used to his healthy dog food, topped with the peculiar green leaf. One day, everything changed. A marvellous meaty meatball plummeted to the floor and curved into Winston's reach. Curious, he jumped up and followed the trail of sauce. A tiny, warm-hearted hand rose up from the tall blue chair. This brought him to the time when he was on the busy streets. But this hand wasn't the same. It was a baby and what followed was a never-ending feast. A feast of burgers, a feast of jelly, a feast of nachos, a feast of joy, a feast of companionship, a feast of love. All this amazing food started with a chip. One chip. Well, like me, you'll know that that is stunning. And why is it stunning? Because your writing has been stunning. I feel so honoured to have been your writing teacher. So go forth and create and show me what you can do. And I look forward to reading your independent stories down the line.